Hi folks, as you can see, we are back with 2024's first video with, with the Mantic team now. Yes, I can see Mantic team. You, you said you the badge is on, the screen's on. <laughs> yeah, so... so You're inside the tent. That's it now. I'm like a <laughs> poacher turned gamekeeper now. So I can see what's going on behind the scenes uh, and bring you all of the information and the hobby content that you've been asking for. So I thought, Ronnie, we would spend some time today and kind of go over a little bit about 2023, what's kind of the highlights from last year, and then where we're going in this year, because there's been a lot to talk about. It has it kind of fair exploded out the blocks. <laughs> we're normally uh, scratching around for those 12 days of Christmas, and this year it was we didn't have enough space to cover everything. I mean, I think the big things about 2023 was the vaults, the companion. Yeah. They were two big steps into this digital space. Now, the companion... The freemium model, I think, is so enabling and it's you know very relevant right now. There's a lot of people joining the King's War community. Yeah. It's just gone crazy. I don't know what's happened in the last couple of weeks. Who, who knows? Eh? Who knows? Only but, guess. Uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, people, I mean, just get look. Here's the rules. Here's these ambush sets that we put out. Yeah. Thirty-five quid. Have a little nibble. See if you like what's going on. Yeah. And the from use your models to get started through the free rules on the rule book people can come and have a go invariably oh i really like this it's very clean i'm enjoying it and you don't need with the companions to give us any money until you're a hardcore player that's building 27 different army lists yeah. and you're totally go around and you want the rules all searchable that's down the way but that you know freemium getting started for free is very important to us and and then when you double that up with the vaults yeah. where people are just going well for a, a, 10 or something a month you can print your figures you can have the rules we've got a digital solution yeah and i think we're pretty cutting edge on that you know i think we're very yeah, proud of the work that yeah. clive and uh mm. elliot have done there that you know we forget if you're in argentina not easy to get our models you know yeah. you want to play armada getting it imported from the uk resin shipped halfway around the world yeah or you can get it digitally and away you go and there's your fleet printed and so we're trying to do a little bit of everything principally we're a plastic story soldier company but we're also trying to live in the 21st century. And I think yeah, that was of one of the big successes and exciting things that, that happened then. Yeah. Advent calendars. Yeah. Barroom brawl. That was it. So that was the first. And if you were lucky enough to get one of those, you've you've done the pre-release version. You know, that was the resin one. This year, they're going to be all plastic. But I just wanted to... I've been working on that for four years. Yeah. It was really hard to get 24 doors yeah. and a game <laughs> with everything you needed, manufactured, imported early enough and so, anyway so that was a uh, good fun and we're going to do a sci-fi one this year fantastic and the barroom brawl plastic one but the the plastics the resins that you got last year which were the unique one-off christmas themed ones yeah this year there's gonna be all in plastic uh but they're just gonna be you know regular pub goers Great. so yeah so a few other things i think you're gonna see repeating uh huge year for kings of war twilight kin was massive yeah. Um, back to the kind of halfling and uh, reforged orcs and the Panithor story, the campaign. Yeah. Dwarfs flying on ravens, throwing hand grenades, ice hand grenades. So I think there was a real re kind of return to form in that space. The the tournament scene got back to pre pandemic levels and bigger. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Clash of Kings, biggest biggest tournament ever. Um, ever. Having just beaten one that three weeks earlier in the US was the biggest ever yeah. at 108. So Amazing. 108 to 145 to 186 sold out in three hours. And I'm sure the Masters will be bigger again this year in the US. So a really vibrant scene that in the early part of 2024 has just got bigger and more exciting. Yeah, so I guess 2023, good year for Mantic. 2024, I would suggest, is going to be an even better year because we really came out of the gates this year with, with lots of information. 12 days of Christmas, as you said, there almost wasn't enough days in the 12 days to, to talk about everything. And I thought today's a good opportunity to really kind of put a little meat on the bones of some of the things that we kind of revealed, especially the big stuff. Yeah. So starting with... Um, oh, let's, let's get the kind of the elephant in the room with Halo. Every, everybody's heard about it now, but don't really know anything about it. Yeah, and I'm not going to say too yeah. much. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to say so. What we've done is we wanted to get it out there so we could start having the conversations and people can start getting excited about it. Yeah, um, it's going to be a normal sized, you know, skirmish, uh, sci-fi. All I can tell you is. Uh, I love the game it's based on, and I love this even more. Yep. I just think it's just such good fun. It's yep. tactical. Um, so so we wanted to announce it 
Come back at the beginning of March yeah. and we are going to have painted minis. We're going to have unboxings. We're going to talk to you through all about how it plays, what it is, yeah. and why I think it's going to bring a whole new generation of people into playing with miniatures. Definitely. I think that's yeah. that really the opportunity for it. Yeah. So uh, I, I need to get you know a few of the kind of distribution deals lined up. So I had to get it out there. I wanted the excitement building. I know you'll be doing videos yeah. all the way through Feb and March on it. Um, so please give us a couple of weeks. Get excited about it. Yeah. I promise you, you are going to go crazy for it. Yeah, there's going to be opportunities to be able to demo the game yeah. um, at events and uh, in different places. Uh, I've already had a chance to play it, so I, I can get excited about it, ha having had my hands on it. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be making loads of content. So make sure that you do subscribe to the Mantic YouTube channel uh, and watch out of our socials as well. As soon as we can tell you more stuff, we'll be telling you. Don't worry about that. What is it? Like, subscribe, and follow. A little bit yeah, of all those things. All of that. So yeah, just <laughs> get on. It's gonna, it's gonna come. And, and launching in September, the, the lovely six months window. Yeah. We're gonna take you from knowing nothing to being au fait with it. Games in stores yeah. to practice over summer and away we go. It's yeah. Be great fun. And then I guess moving on from something that was maybe a bit left field that people didn't expect to something that people have been screaming and shouting about for a long time now. And that's the return of The Walking Dead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this was something that I'd been working on for two or three years, you know, since the yeah. the, 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 the licensing contacts changed. And um, I just felt like we hadn't finished the story, yeah. you know, and, and we weren't far away. And it was really during the pandemic, bizarrely, at the end of the times, we started selling a game that was all about the end of times. So it, it, it got a second lease of life. Sorry, guys, I could, they're coming thick and fast. Um it really found its stride again. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was do it launched brilliantly and I think the T V show really had an effect on it. I'd never seen it before, but yeah. that, that that season just took it down and it slowly rebuilt itself and it was in a really good place. And then it, it, it obviously we lost the license and we it just was one of those things. But it, I just didn't feel like we'd finished it. And yeah. I think the community felt that way. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of people came back people that had thought about it when it was ending kind of jumped in and so the two things were firstly I, you know I, I don't, scalping I just I don't I like to try and not be there yeah. so we don't do things that are limited edition to do them it's more we need to go and produce it and make it so wonderful there's going to be a whole website just dedicated to The Walking Dead Yeah. we are going to redo all the plastics so all the waves are going to be there but they're not going to be buying booster at a time yeah. you're just going to if you haven't got that wave buy the wave yeah one, two, three, four, all plastics, five, mostly plastics. The later ones are resin. We did look at going and doing new stuff in resin or going back in resin to plastic. You're adding a year on yeah. to the release schedule yeah. because it's got to go through approvals. It's then going to get cut. It's got to get tooled. It's got to get shipped. You're basically, you talk about Kickstarter. If you did it tomorrow yeah. to get it. So we said, look, people want this. We've not had any releases for 18 months. Let's get it out there. So the next wave is going to be the Commonwealth. Yep. That's that part of where we're up to in the story after Whispers Commonwealth. But I don't think, I think there's still some gaps and I certainly saw people want some more survivors. There's a few things. What I said is, look, let's get this big one out. Let's get going again. Yep. Let's unlock the plastics because we never reprinted those after 2017, 2018. Yep. So there's a lot of people that haven't got those waves. Let's do that. Certain people are missing certain models. So what we're going to do in around July, August is just go and unlock individuals. Yeah. So if you need the wave by that, we're going to bring that in. And then when we've got those in, we're going to unpack them, spread them apart and say, look, if you've got 12 of those 16 in that wave, you just need those four, you're going to yeah. pick those four up. Yeah. If you've got two, just buy the wave again, because yeah. it's going to be a better value. It's going yeah. be far better value. They're yeah. all bundled together. Mm -hmm. But everything is going to be made available through this. Fun it's going to take us you know, a few months We've got the models being sculpted. So, if you is it next week, you and uh, Clive? We've given you some more meat on the bones, a bit more details about what you can expect and when when it's going to be available to you. I've always said, and I, and I can say this because it's there's evidence out there from years of me saying this kind of stuff. The Walking Dead, I've always thought, has been one of the the best ways to introduce new people to miniature gaming. You can play it solo, you can play it co-op, and help a friend out to kind of learn the game, and you can play it player versus player. And, and with that as well, we're also going to be launching a new way for new players to get into this as well. So it, it's not just about rounding out your collection. If you, if you haven't managed to get into it or you found out about this down the line when it was no longer around, there's going to be a way that new players can get in on ground. That's the collector's edition, I think, isn't it? That's it, the collector's yeah. set. That's going to have the solo play in it from the Brian Blake pre-governor. Yeah. Plus the getting started, you know, the actual original starter set, yeah. plus 
all the terrain. Oh. So it's all going to be in there, one big box. If you're getting started, that's where you go. Yep. If you're filling in your collection, you're going to have the waves. We're going to get the resin all out, manufacture it all to order, get that shipped, and yeah. then put the singles out alongside the retail release. So yeah. people can just pick up little bits and bobs that they want. So yeah, again, very exciting. Yeah, stay, stay tuned. More to come on that very, very soon. And then I guess the, the next big thing as well that we talk, we've been talking about for a little while now, but we're really getting to the point now where people are going to be able to kind of see what this is all about now is Epic Warpath. So Epic Warpath is launching on Kickstarter on February the 14th, specifically Valentine's Day for all you that, you know, you, 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 you finally want, you can get something you, you know, the alum. You love yourself, but you know. <laughs> that's it. You think what? What? What can I get for my loved one? You can get them a, 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 a back in for the for the uh, epic war path. Um, so yeah, that's coming really soon. There's been some great blogs where we've been talking about the rules and breaking them down. And it's chatting with the games designers. Matt and I is going to be sitting here and there, and we're going to be re recording that stuff. Um, and yeah, it's it's going great guns. We've got the play test day at Manic HQ on the twentieth of January. So, um, yeah. so you're going down to that. I'm going to be there as well. So if, if you're going along, I'm going to be there with the camera and the microphone and chatting to you, seeing what you think about it. And it's going to be an opportunity for the first time to really get it on camera, really. And I think one of the things that Charles, we were saying before we chatted, that in the past, when once we designed everything and done everything, we'd come up here and, yeah. and talk to people about it. And I think having you on board for the first time means you're going to be doing painting videos. You're going to be showing yeah. stuff off, how it gets ready. You're going to be at that playtest day recording yeah. videos. So people that want to say, look, I, I'm quite intrigued about this Emmy World Path, but I want to see it played. Yes. I want to have independent voices interviewing and showing, and I want to get up close to it. All of this stuff for the first time, we're going to be able to show off. Normally, yeah. it's been painted by Anne it comes in, here yeah. we are. I think behind the scenes, behind the curtain is becoming a real thing, and I think that's um, it's really exciting. So we've always been built on our community and that two-way chat, and I yeah. think having you, Andy, participating in a campaign, before the campaign, during the campaign, yeah. after the campaign, um, you know, we know the gameplay is beautiful. It's got a great command and control and everything else. But, but what is it you want to know? What is it that's going to hold you back from backing or not? Yep. Get it asked and let's get it answered. And we've got four races coming at launch for that. Yep. So <laughs> here's where I've got to test my knowledge now. We've got the Enforcers. Correct. We've got the Plague. We've got the Forge Fathers. Of course. And Obviously Space Dwarfs there. Oh, we've got it? the Asterians. Asterians. There you go. And you yeah. I knew I'd remember. But... We, we're, we're ready to go with more factions as well, as long as there's a need there for it. If, if people back this and people show the support for it, that's what will unlock and enable us to be able to kind of go and, and release those extra factions as well. So, And I, and I think the, the current plan is we love this daily unlocks, which is basically, yeah. here's a great value offer. We're not messing around doing stuff. Here's a great value offer on day one. Over the next 14 days, whatever the campaign is, yeah. every day is going to get better. Yeah. We're going to add a few units. We're going to add some other things. Plan them in, but it's quite good without going you're not getting this miniature unless you hit the stretch goal yeah however you know we are already investing a frightening amount gray hair mm. of, <laughs> of money in the plastics which we're happy to do we love the product we love the concept we're going to do it if we want that fifth race if we want vermin and, and yeah. i think we're going to do a questionnaire say so i think vermin might be less than then which which do you want the other three in we do need more money you know it is one of those where and then if you want us to tool the fifth and the sixth and the seventh, we yeah. just need to hit some certain hurdles. Yeah. And we can take so much of a of, a, of an expenditure on, on tooling. Yeah. But, um, uh, uh, you know, so watch the campaign. We'd love to unlock all eight races. Yeah. Similarly, if we unlock four and then we put the fifth out as yeah. it comes to retail, that works too. But um, yeah. if you can, please do come and have a look. Think about backing us. It makes a huge difference. And if we can get it all done and one and out, it, what you're going to get is a whole lot more choice. Yeah. for which armies you can pick and obviously the more armies there are the more different variants you are when you play so yeah and as Ronnie said there as well that the next four races that would come out we're going to put that out to you as well we see what order you want us to release them if everybody wants to play uh, if everybody wants um, Veeam next then Veeamon will be the fifth race and we'll, and we'll kind of we'll see what the, uh, what for, the what for us it's a tooling and sculpting yeah. process we haven't sculpted those four armies they're not done not. they're not up our sleeve we've done the first four they were going into tooling, you know. That's that's we're gonna we're gonna unlock those, and that's what we're gonna pick from. If we want five, six, seven, eight, you know, mm. a we need your support. We do need it, and yeah. uh, which order we do it in. Well, we'd rather give you what, the race you want most next. Yeah. So yeah, that is. 
Yeah, so lots going on. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's more to come later in the year as well. We've got more stuff coming for Kings of War. Trident Realms is coming. Yep. The ambush sets are out there. You know, and, and if you thought about tr jumping in, jump in. You know, now's yeah. a great time on that. Trident Realms coming. Dungeon Saga yep. is going to retail. So um, backers yeah. have got their version. That's it. And then later in the year as well, we've also got more stuff coming for Firefight and Dead Zone as well. Huge so sci-fi, sci we, have, we haven't forgotten about those First either. plastics done outside of Kickstarter for our 28 mil or whatever size yeah. millimetres I keep getting. <laughs> that size plastics <laughs> as well as our Woolpath stuff. Yeah. So yeah, lots to look forward to. As I mentioned before, please do subscribe to this channel. It, you'd be surprised what a difference it makes having those... Um, people subscribe click the little bell icon as well so that you get notified and then that tells youtube that you're interested in mantic stuff and we can make sure that you get to hear about it as soon as it comes out so starting off 2024 with a bang i think it's a great way to start it no doubt we'll get back together as well on camera yeah. and uh, a couple of months from now okay down i'm sure yeah you won't keep me off but um, that's it yeah but there'll be plenty more coming from me so stay tuned thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all very soon